Drop what you're doing and stop Spider-Man. You? Wait, you? 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 Turn around! I don't see anything, boss. What was the first impression when you heard what the story of this adventure is? Because I think it is very unique and very different. Uh, so yeah, what was your kind of emotional response to it? I spoke with Chris, Phil, and Christina on Zoom with my manager, and um, they gave us the bullet points on where th the story was going, and I just remember being like, yes. <laughs> that was it, just like, yes. Yes, thank yes. you. Yes, thank you very much. Right. This felt really ambitious, uh, and I liked that they were taking a swing. I liked that Gwen was getting a whole new backstory and we're getting to know her in a whole new way. I liked that Peter had changed. I liked that Miles really evolves in it. I liked that we're introducing so many more spider people. It felt like when I first heard it, I thought like, all that's in a movie? <laughs> two. Yeah, 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 that's right. But still, like, yeah, yeah. even for two, you're like, they're really pushing and they're really working. They, there's nothing about this process that's been settling and there's nothing about it that the first one worked, let's just make two more of them. Mm -hmm. right. So each one feels like constantly reinvention. The look of it, the feel of it, the music, yeah. everything is driving. So I just thought as an actor, like, I'm really glad you guys are doing all that work because <laughs> it's going to make the project so much better. When did you both realize that your characters were going to have such an important role in this one? I feel like I knew it was going to be this when I saw it. Mm, yeah. I mean, there's just, you know, the working is... Um, I my, all of my recordings were by myself um, w with the team that I had directing and which was an incredible experience but it was easier because of the first one that, that we'd done mm -hmm. together and it was such a great experience I just remembered the sound the voices and all of that and and the feeling that it had amazing to learn sort of as we were going as well what the heck was happening mm -hmm. and, yeah. and how this was all coming together I had a lot more of an understanding and a lot more confidence going in the second time, knowing what the process was and what it required of me. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of trust totally. um, that takes place in all of this. I think for me, it was the heart that was in it. It, it could have been very easy to to fill it with a bunch of action and a bunch mm -hmm. of humor. And, uh, but when the scenes that are poignant happen, they, they really hit. And this one especially, <laughs> like this one, I was like, oh, we are really like, we're gonna go there. Yeah. Like we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. We're gonna go there, and that's also a testimony to the talent that's in this movie. Every single person that has been added or that has returned has brought just this other layer of gravitas. That's like, oh man, like it's no hold bars here. Like we're really gonna go for yeah. it. That's what's so special, I think, about this saga of Spider-Man yeah. is that it's really easy to put the parents in and then they're tossed away and they're there. but like every everyone here is um there to support and a part of who miles is mm -hmm. like the reason that he is who he is is because of us you know and because of our upbringing and uh and, and how we brought him up uh and i'm glad that the audiences relate to that what was the biggest surprise i think the surprise seeing it was that the animation takes another step up Mm, we were mm -hmm. talking about Gwen's yeah. world and you were the one that told me about the mood ring. Mm -hmm. But in watching it, I didn't know, my eyes didn't know what I was supposed to be looking at. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen this. Mm -hmm. Like the colors just kind of naturally change as the emotions change. And the first one was beautiful, but this one even feels like a, another step up. Yeah. Uh, this thing is filled with plenty of surprises. Yes. Uh, <laughs> some of which I, I was prepared for and a whole lot of which I was not. <laughs> same, same. I didn't know. A lot of the stuff that was they don't say it. I didn't know a lot of it. So. Yeah, you were the first multiverse movie. Now there's been a hundred multiverse. Everybody's got a broken verse somewhere. <laughs> like some there's a <laughs> verse everywhere, right? <laughs> was there any trepidation about coming back to that, or you knew that it was going to be the best? No, it meant that in this world of uh, heroism, the possibilities are endless. No hero looks one way. No hero mm -hmm. is brought up one way. I mean, there's so many different ways to go. We have a pregnant Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, there's a cat, there's a pig, there's like, I mean, there's a punk rock, like, but it, but what it, all it really reflects is that we all need saving in some sort of way. We are all looking for a hero in some sort of way. Yeah. And what, what opening this Spider-Verse has done is shown that anyone, anyone from any background, from any walk of life is capable of being a hero. Uh, and also it has to also go to what is important to you. Like what, what really, like none of these heroes are brought up in any way without any sense of family. I think that each Spider-Man, the impetus uh, for them to want to save the world and to be heroic starts with their family. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that that's what's great is that all families of all kinds 
are kind of represented in these different multiverses because family is the, the the foundation, right? So that's what was really exciting about it. And that goes also to this creative team, honestly, because like you said, everywhere there's a new, there's a verse. Every, everybody's got one now, yeah. right? But yeah. the commitment and dedication to keeping this story rooted in the family, rooted in the messaging that uh, anyone can be, can figure out how to cultivate, how to realize mm -hmm. their own their own power. Yeah. I think that is the overriding factor. The the team that we work with, you know, the writers, the correct, the directors, the animators. There is a it. This is a true collective. Yeah. I feel, and in that collective, everyone aspires to bring about the same thing. This yeah. message of love, of of hope, of knowing, and above all else, know thyself. Yeah. Right. 